How's everybody today? Good. Good. Uh, we've had a very productive week so far. Uh, talked to you on Monday about how we wanted to try to build some momentum and um, you know continue to improve as a team as we get into SEC games here over the next stretch and. Uh, certainly you got a challenging opponent this week in Kentucky, and I like the way the players have responded. Uh, their energy and practice has been good. They're working hard, and um, you know I think that everybody understands the consequences of every choice and decision that they make relative to uh, how they prepare, how they practice, choices and decisions that they make off the field. All right, so all these things contribute to who you are and uh, how successful you can be, and uh, that's certainly something that uh, I think the players have done a good job of this week, so we're happy about that. I know there's a lot swirling around about Blake Barnett. He did come to see me today before practice with some concerns about his future. You know, Blake is a fine young man. He's done a great job in this program, and um, you know, we'd we'd love to see him be a part of the program in the future. But uh, we also uh, want him to do what's best for him. I don't have a final decision on that. Nobody has told me that. You may know more about it than I do, so I can't make any more comments about it other than that. From an injury standpoint, you know, Damian and Robert uh, have both practiced. Our Darius has uh, been running and doing some running, uh, so I can't really tell you who could or couldn't play. I think these will all be sort of right before the game decisions relative to uh, whether these guys will be ready to go or not. Just wondering, I know you said you can't make a, another comment on Blake Barnett, but is he with the team? Is he not with the team? And, and what's the what, situation? What did I say? What does that mean? I still, I still got to ask the question. Well, well, you ask, and I've already answered it. So is he with I'm, the team I, now or no? I don't know. I will make a statement when we find out for sure. How's that? The receivers and the guys are guys who aren't banged up, I guess, who were the guys who were stepping in? Uh, I know Trayvon Diggs was there, um, I guess. Trayvon Diggs and uh, Cam Sims have did a really good job in the last game. Um, you know, uh, Dieter's still working and doing a good job. Uh, Robert has practiced some this week. Uh, all, all the guys, you know who's on the roster. We, 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 we don't, they don't fall out of the sky. So we're coaching the guys that we have. They're doing a good job. That's our major focus and concern is the guys on our team, how can we make them get better and how can they be more productive when the game comes? And uh, they've been working hard to do that, and we're, we're happy about that. When a player comes to you concerned about his status with the program, his standing, whatever, how, how do those meetings usually go? Do you try to talk them out? You know, talk them down. No, I, I listen. I, un, I try to understand um, and listen uh, really closely about uh, what the concerns are. Uh, and look, I understand that everybody wants to play. Uh, I understand only one guy can play quarterback, although we've had a pretty uh, significant competition at that position, and both guys have played, you know, quite a bit uh, and done good things, you know, at times. So. Um, I, I try to make them aware of the consequences of uh, the decisions that they make and offer some experiences that we have in the past and um, try to get them to make the best value decision for their future. And sometimes we agree on that and sometimes we don't. But it's, it's everybody's choice uh, to make in terms of what they do. Um, so, you know, I, I try to do what's best for our team and uh, the players on it. But. Uh, my focus has to be on the players that are on our team, who are committed to our team, who are going to work to help this team be good and try to get better. Uh, and the, the guys that put the team first, you know, are the most important thing for us right now in terms of us being a better team. Mark Stoops on his radio show this week talked about the, the story of you and his uncle in the bar and recruiting him and it getting robbed and you having no idea because you're so focused. Can, can you expound upon that, what happened? Talk of the town. That was the name of the bar. Um, Uncle Bob and I were sitting at the bar and we were talking football. And he was the coach at South High School at the time. And I got, it was kind of a round bar, so it wasn't like you could see everything that was happening. But we were talking football and we were arguing about something, I don't know, and we were drawing up stuff on a deal and a guy comes in with a shotgun and holds the place up. 
well, we'll keep arguing and we keep talking football and the police come and they ask us about the robbery. And we said, what robbery? <laughs> so that was kind of the story. The place got robbed and we didn't even know it. So I don't know if we were that focused or we were just having that much fun talking about football. Some of the receivers you talk about, you know, trying to get more reps to develop timing with the starting quarterback. Is that something at practice that you can force or create, or is that something that just kind of happens naturally? Well, we try to share the reps in terms of how guys are going to play. Uh, and receiver is a is a position where you'd like to play multiple players. Uh, so, you know, guys don't get wore down in a game or as the season progresses. Um, and we thought that was a position that we had pretty good depth at this year. And lo and behold, you lose two guys for, you know, a game or two. And all of a sudden, you know, you're not as deep as you thought. So, but this has offered other guys an opportunity. And I was really impressed with Cam Sims. Trayvon Diggs is making a lot of progress at the position. You know, Dieter has played a lot of football for us. Some other guys have got to play because of this. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll get these back guys back quickly and we'll be better than even we were before because of the experience that they gained. So, uh, but however we're going to play guys in the game, if we're going to rotate a guy at right receiver or left receiver, we try to do that rep-wise with the quarterback that they'll end up playing with. Last one, back to Neil. Uh, Coach, uh, your thoughts on Keith Holcomb, how he's progressed and what he means to the team? Keith Holcomb has done an outstanding job for us. He's, you know, one of our core special teams guys. He's really overcome a lot uh, to be a part of the team. He's had a lot of injury issues, you know, this year that he's played through and played with. And, um, you know, he got to play in the last game and was the player of the game in terms of his production points. Uh, so we think he's a really good player, and we're excited about his future and the contribution that he's made to the team. He's done a really good job for us. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.